Hello, everyone. I am Gander, the Gaming Clan, Vato Clan, and the video that you are about to see does have part of the game missing in it. And the reason for that is because when Twitch TV, the website, uh, began to delete their archived past broadcasts, some of the video segments were not able to be saved when I ripped all of the video. So in the interest of having as complete a Dominion history as we possibly can here on YouTube, uh, I'm uploading this video anyway, even though a portion of it is missing. Uh, so check down in the video description below for picks and bans or something like that, or to see who won in the case of it being a video that's missing the end of the game. So enjoy this little peek into the uh, past of Dominion, uh, in this case a fragmented peek. Uh, thank you for watching. And with permission from uh, Dominate uh, Dominion slash Dominate Gaming's owner, the Feedski, here you are. Kind of like the first game for Purple Team on the blue side. Maybe you want to reverse it. Um, me, the Pantheon, the Ezreal, you have a lot of good mobility. Well, actually, a lot of mobility from the team of Dominus. While on the other hand, for Lonely, they have a lot of mobility, but they also have. Awesome AoE clear. Very, very awesome AoE clear. Plus a really interesting pick in that LeBlanc slash... I know you were talking about it a little bit before damage I put and stuff. Is it going to be really useful in this comp for the team of Awesome Explosion? Um, the LeBlanc? Um, her targeted silence will... Um, she can quite possibly just burst Ezreal arbitrarily, which... You'll understand that's going to be a problem. <laughs> of course. Um, and her silence is just really good for locking down people like Ari and Pantheon. Ari in particular can be quite slippery if you don't lock her down with something targeted. In the same way that LeBlanc can be. Yeah. I mean, the sigil I, silence is good. Oh, yes. keep on. Sorry. Both teams are actually quite short on the targeted CC. Um, blue team has a headbutt and LeBlanc's silence, and purple team has Annie stun and Pantheon stun. And Skillshot CC may has always has the problem of whiffing, especially if people can just use mobility skills to avoid it. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll see if that'll actually all come to fruition. Again, it is kind of an interesting pick to pick up LeBlanc. And what you said before, the CV pick for the Lolly Brigade, slash the Brigade Commander, that's what he wanted me to call him right there. Really interesting. I mean, CV slash, you don't have wards in this map anyway, so I'm not surprised about that. But CV is going to cancel out on buying the uh, ability power item. I just can't remember it right now. but. The one that gives you like true sight as well. See if he's gonna be useful. Yeah, Often the sweeper. you want to pick up both. Yeah. Um remember that everyone here will have the summoner's insight, I believe. That's the utility mastery. Mm -hmm. And that makes C V very strong as it tags people for a long time. Yeah, I mean it's gonna be True Sight pretty much on the map, and at least slash the Brigade Commander is going to be able to do whatever he or she kind of well pleases. Well, we do see that Mundo as well. Just saying that. With Vision, you can control a lot of things. Movement, prediction, and such like that. And having that Vision might be really key for the team of Lully to win out this matchup. On the other hand, Dominus, again, they have damage output. They have utility. I don't think they really have a tank line other than um, Buford over that top lane properly. I mean, what is Mundo going to be bringing in for this matchup behind them? Uh, Mundo is going to provide quite a lot of poke, and that's <laughs> and quite a bit of bulk. He's quite big. He can catch people with his slow. Um, though I'm not sure he's, he's he's going to catch, and he's just very hard to kill, and he can do a lot of damage when he gets on someone. Um, he's a 
reasonable counterpart to Riven in team fights, although Riven has rather more hard CC. Yeah, I think the the point is yes, this this is gonna be the tank line pretty much. The Mundo and front line for the team of Dominus. They really can't do anything else after that. If Mundo goes down pretty quickly, especially with Sigil of Silence, which is a well unfortunately a silence as well. Could be I bad. would not expect LeBlanc to combo Mundo, although right. she might use her chains to Slow keep down. him under control briefly. Yeah, which is unfortunate. That's actually a slow which isn't mitigated by CC reduction, which is quite nice to have. About to get into this one, it is round number two. An awesome explosion plus the lowly versus Dominus. On the blue side, we have Fancy Wolf for that ribbon, Elise for that lowly brigade slash brigade. Commander, Alistair over Fat Me, LeBlanc on that armed weasel, and Super Quack Duck, Duck Duck Bird, or Duck Duck Goose, or whatever you want to be called for that cinch. I am L380, the bird, getting in some words, one half of your caster team. On the purple side, what do we have, Alanum? We've got Ether Lord on Ari, Bandit Bill on Annie, Falcon on Ezreal, Pilot's Expert on Pantheon, and Bookfed on Dr. Mundo. Yep, and we're going to be starting out this matchup really soon. I'm liking the picks, but we'll see what the purple team slash dominus is going to be doing about this one. Again, at least with that CV, could prove to be a make or break kind of thing coming up in this. Um, For bottom line, you said Ari and Elise? Is that what, what, what I was using? Ari and Singe. Singe, okay. Yes. Oh, why would Singe be over at bottom lane instead of uh, top lane, just in case for everyone to know? Um, they already have an initiated tank in Alistair. Um, Singed is quite a strong bully bottom lane. Um, he's also pretty strong top, but... Hmm, I'm not sure. You could be right in that Elise would be a better bot laner here. I also have seen Super Quack Duck go bot quite often. Yeah, it, it looks like Super Quack Duck is ready for that little matchup. And we do have Ethel that are going to be picking that one down. Alright, bot. Looking at the items, not really anything too discouraging or new. I mean, you have the Kindle Gem with Mundo, but. Yes, Mundo just I would does a prefer the double, double Ruby on Mundo. Yeah. I'm surprised Ari has not taken a blue potion. I'd expect her to go out of mana trying to counter push Singed without the blue unless she can harass him out of lane. We'll look at this matchup a little closely while we do see the points being captured out right now. But yeah, Ari versus Singe, something that you would never see well, in any game literally, and we're gonna see it happening right now. I feel like Singe should not have the better of the two. I mean, melee versus range, it's always a bad thing, but... It's we'll Rylai's core on Ari, and she'll do quite well after she gets that, I think. That and also, well, Spell Vamp is a pretty good skill to have with that passive, so she'll be able to poke down over in this bottom lane, while we do see the Windmill being captured on by the team of Dominus. Or not being captured by Dominus, because Riven coming in there doing massive amount of damage. Buford now going to be trying to get onto Armed Weasel, Still gonna chase the bomb now. Fancy Wolf gonna be taken away over to Pantheon, but Buford is gonna go kick up the kill onto LeBlanc. On the other hand, we have Pilates Expert gonna be able to pick up the kill onto that ribbon. Fat Me gonna go try to zone out as much as he can. Falcon coming right back onto it. Gonna be over in the top lane. Windmill still being aggressed upon right now under control, partially yes. from Loli, but we'll see what'll happen in a little bit. And we do see Bandit Bill going to take the first sizzle, sizzle of silence. Yeah. Fat me coming up from the side. Now we're going to see Pilates Expert taking a lot of damage. Going to be taken down from that at least. Repel down. Going to go on the Buford. Buford going to be taken down from Fancy Wolf. And this might end the whole siege because Lolly should be able to control it for so much longer. Slash, they should be able to take it down now. As Sin should be taking over in the bottom lane. Really interesting enough. And uh, yeah. yeah, my judgment was wrong. Yeah, <laughs> we're right. Uh, Better than Bill, gonna go take it down on the Fancy Wolf, and we do see the Windmill finally captured. Uh, what happened in the bottom lane? Uh, um, I, I wasn't watching. I think our Singed allowed Arby to harass him too hard. I, I 
things to add as well. I see the Ignite actually being built, uh, used up as well. So, I mean, as a duelist, that's always a problem having an Ignite. It's a very strong thing. Super Crack Duck, though, going to be able to pick up the point over by the Boneyard. That was really interesting, slash. Oh, this is a uh, Is that AFK? Yeah. Um, one is allowed to pause in these games, and yeah. there's the pause. I, this is unfortunate. I can't. Oh, that's. That's very tough to see. That's going to give a lot of control for Loli right now in this beginning game. Yes, I think at this point, Annie is probably going to have to save her stun to use as an AoE disengage because Loli's AoE engage is too strong right now. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty interesting to see what Loli can do with AoE engage. But Dominus, all they have to do is. Well, try to try to pick off when they can, but on a map where it's really condensed and small, and everyone's close quarter, I don't think that's really gonna happen. Yes. Well, they could probably have split up better, but <laughs> maybe they didn't see it coming. I think Fat Me on the second engage coming in came off from the top side of the windmill where it was the blind spot, so. I'm not surprised of that, but yeah, it's it's hard because you have so much engage with the team. I don't know what yes. you can do really from Oli. I mean from Dominus. Well, Pantheon could have headed up there to head him off. It was actually it would have actually helped him quite a bit because there was a health shrine there, and it's important to control the health shrine while you're fighting for the windmill. Yeah, I'm going go with that. But we're gonna get this on in just a few seconds. Or this is going to be a long break, because I'm seeing it from the chat room right now. That's unfortunate. Super Crack Duck tells us um, the game is still paused. Oh, man. Okay. At least three minutes, so that's going to be in there. Lanham should go take a break. There you go with okay. that. Would you mind if I did that? Nah, go for it, man. I'm going to go keep Thanks. on talking a little bit. Looking at it, we can't do anything about my mouse either, so I can't do anything with like actually trying to change out the scene. Sorry about that. But, yeah, looking at the game right now, Dominus? No, in a little bad shape. I mean, it's early in the game, it's the beginning, you can't really do too much. But even beforehand, the chat room, everybody was saying, yeah, it looks like Dominus has a weaker team, per se, more than what Lolly does. and. I think the only way Dominus is actually going to get in this is, well, they have to build and ramp damage really fast and hopefully they can kill everything that is a tank in the front line. Twist the tree line, Domi Dominion, Dominus, Dominion as well, it's more predicated more over by cap gap closers, bruisers, and such like that, still. And it's really unfortunate because, well, close quarters combat, it kind of lends itself to that, which is unfortunate. But, I mean, it's not going to be a surprise to see if Dominus actually takes the win from this, because if they can get enough damage, if they can get much poke, it'll be pretty strong for them overall. Um, looking over right quickly before we actually get there. I, I can't do anything. I, my, my screen is locked. My mouse is locked. So the one thing Riot did about the whole... If you didn't hear about this, it was a summoner rift thing anyway. But if you didn't hear about the team of Absolute Legends, NA. They had a little cheating thing that happened, and unfortunately, um, it costs a little bit of, well, unfortunate times for ALNA to actually just ban or whatever. That's fine. But the biggest thing Riot did, or Riot has done about that, is they don't want to have ghosts. Uh, are we ready to restart? Not yet. <laughs> they don't want to have ghosting, so the only thing is, like, yeah, your mouse for at least some of the spectator modes are going to be captured in at the middle so you can't actually move around and try to see anything over in the map and such so that prevents ghosting but also as well, well, you can't really do anything else so this is very unfortunate for me because I can't really do anything about the The just mentioned that um, Ether Lords returned so maybe we'll be restarting shortly Alright, that's cool no, I, can, yes. I can actually change out finally because I got out of the screen but yeah Oh my god. That is prevention right there at its finest from right. So there you go with that. I'm going to go plug a little bit, a few more things. Uh, unless we did take a break. I don't know if Fitsuki hasn't really said anything. I don't think we took a commercial break. But, um, 
$300, bounty to take out Team PECS, uh, pays Evelyn child support, we talked about that. Again, that's, I think, a new team though, is that right? Um, there's a list of about five of the top teams that aren't, um, don't qualify for it, except mm -hmm. at the last opportunity. Apart from that, anyone can do it. Okay. So uh, even the teams we're seeing here now could qualify for it today. I mean, they could be placing them up, I think, in the semifinals bracket, so that'd be really cool. I don't have the chat on. I'm guessing they're almost ready because I hear a lot of ch ch ah, chatter coming out on right now. All right, yes. So, yeah, hopefully we'll get that started up really soon. Other than that, Facebook we talked about. Next week tournament, registration is open, free to enter. If you need any information on that, check out dominatedominion.com for rules slash info on that. Give me a second while I try to refresh out everything. Ugh. Something I hate about spectator mode, it just does not want to work when you want it to work. Give me a sec. Can you uh, actually pause for a second right over there? Because I actually had to uh, disconnect and reconnect to the game, unfortunately. Okay, um... Let's see, um, Purple's been able to retake bot, um, without much opposition it seems Super Crack Duck's being chased off, and up top, Blue is asserting very strong jungle control, but Riven's picked off more than she can handle. You can keep on going that, I'm almost in right now, but yeah, I'm not surprised the good team guys from the brigade are going to be able to get back that point right down there. It's unfortunate for that disconnect, for sure. Yes. There's a lot of pressure bots right now. Singe, Elise, and Alistair are closing in on Ari, but she does still have her ultimate with which to respond. Yep, and we're going to be and, seeing... And the going to head in as well. Yep, and we do see all that action happening right now. Fat me is changing down over there, and I feel like, yeah, they, they got a little bit too aggressive in bottom lane. Unfortunately, they're going to be pushed away from there. Actually, wow, Brigade going to be taken out as well. And we're going to see the capture at the point. Garrison going to be used by Super Crack Duck over in the bottom lane. We'll see if they can <laughs> defend this 3v1. I mean, Sinch can do what he pleases, but I don't know if he can actually finish that one up over there. That me coming up from the side. And yet again, we're going to see a lot of aggression over in this bottom lane. Falcon could be taken down right quickly from that Riven. And now Buford, can he get taken down over here? We do have the CV going to be seen for 8th Lord. We do see over the top lane though, Fanabil and Pilates is pushing up to that one now. So overall, I think a really good take for the team of um, Dominus to defend out from there. Unfortunately, Lily had to spend a lot of resources for that bottom lane. Yes, Annie's not going to be able to take top, and she's fairly exposed right now. Let's see if she can get out. Yeah, I think she's just going to back away from that. That's not a problem for her. But I think they just got back to the control. 347, 476 on the point score right now. And change it up to the kill score. We do see Buford caught up in between everything and Riven gonna go tear that shreds onto that window. Now we see Bandit Bill a little bit of trouble. Gonna use that Tibbers. Yes, it is Tibbers online, but I don't know if that's gonna be enough to really save out from the team. Unfortunately, not gonna be enough to finish up over there. We do see the least taking out the kill. Double kill gonna be gonna be used for that brigade commander. And now we see the Lolly Brigade just pushing up over down there. Over in bottom lane, yes, yeah, Sins is well. Ignited, but still not having a problem with ETH with Lord Down, especially between level 9 and level 9. I think Singe hit a point where he can't be stopped right now. Yes, I, Ari is working on that Blackfire Torch with the Ruby, which should put a dent in his health. The only problem is with Singe, once you have this standing potion on, you have well, armor and magic exists up. Plus ability power as well. Probably one of the best um, initiation tools, but one of the best ultimates in the game right now. And it's unfortunate that you have it on a really, really mean tank that can do whatever he kind of wants. 
We're gonna see a skirmish over here at the uh, shrines. We'll see if they can actually fight it down. Fat me and everybody taking a lot of poke for way. I don't know if they actually should be taking all this poke or they should be backing away from it. Beef, we're gonna go engage onto it. Fat me can be seen with that CV from Brigade. We're gonna see the backup from the team of Dominus. I feel like Dominus is in a little bit of trouble. LeBlanc tries to catch on to the Ezreal like he would said he would have. Unfortunately, Ezreal just a little bit more separately getting away from the burst of LeBlanc. We do see re-engage Fancy Wolf gonna go back in Bandit Bill going on to Fat Me, but now Pilates expert is gonna meet Terrison. We're gonna see the True Sharp Barrage hit up on two people, but now we're gonna see Fancy Wolf just go on to the team. Unfortunately not gonna hit that wind slash right after. Could have done the damage done dealt to pick up Buford. Now we're gonna see if Falcon and Pilates experts can save this turret. So you see the Mundo coming off from the side getting picked up. They yeah, have the Alistair help out the at least picking up the kill onto the Pantheon and then Weasel can be able to pick up the double kill onto the Ezreal. Overall, great job from Lolly. I mean, just using their tankiness but using their fight abilities to a really good extent to keep the capture alive. Yes. Ari is going in on the Singe for the kill and she's not going to make it. Singe picks up the health just in time. That and also Singe just kind of trolling along. Poison is just a ridiculous, ridiculous skill that they have. And unfortunately, once you chase the Singe, you're probably not going to come out alive off of that. Um, overall for Dominus, yeah, they're down a lot of points right now. What do you think they need to do to uh, catch up, if anything? They need to somehow um, take jungle control. Um, that's going to require Mundo being quite a bit tankier than he is and um, being engaged on by the enemy so Annie can land her counter initiation. They're also going to need better focus. As you can see here, Riven and Elise are both at half health, which is not how they need it. Yeah, that's uh, very optimal, and unfortunately, we're going to be seeing the take over the tower yet again. I feel bad for the Ezreal. I think the second time we've seen Ezreal just kind of bite the bus. Although Ezreal last time did win out, so yeah. Yes. I mean, they just have so much immense control. I mean, the CV. I mean, yeah, it's it's doing something, but it's not really securing the win for them. But just the Alistair, at least alone, have been doing too much, and the kill on the Moon. like once they have the Moon down, it's there's like nothing that really the team of Dominus can do. Yes, um, Annie's rushed her Odin's Veil, which is very strange. She has no cooldown reduction right now, and she is a vital part of her team's crowd control. Then also, she needs a little bit more damage. I mean, you're known for Annie for having that burst. Don't know if that's actually the smartest of ideas, but then again, could just tell me wrong as we're going to pick up the kill. Do you see the FG going to be used up? And try to pick up onto Pilates actually. Good job, gonna be picking up from that Ezreal. Now, Beefer gonna be chased around onto the Iron Weasel. Can Beefer pick up the kill with the Shrine Relic being to help? Unfortunately, it was not enough. So much kiting potential from the Brigade Commander. And now we're gonna see Bandit Bill in a little bit of trouble, taking a lot of damage. Odin's Veil gonna be used up to help out the team. Unfortunately, Iron Weasel says, um, yeah, you can have that Odin's Veil and you take it to the grave. 460 to 100 on the point score. It's just looking really strong. Alistar looking at the score 0 0 22. He is a man among men right now. Not even dying this whole matchup right now. Very good to see the Alistar doing a lot of good support, but also contributing a lot to this game. Oh, uh, I, I mean, maybe contributing. We'll see. Garrison can be used over this top lane. Everybody from the team of Lolly coming right back onto it. Oh, Pilates taking down. Beautiful, beautiful gains from Iron Weasel. Now we're going to see if they can catch on. Unfortunately, we're going to see the Cocoon actually miss off, so we're going to be disengaging from the Brigade Commander. But again, so much damage output coming out from that top lane. And enough CC to keep down. It's doing really well for the team of her for Lolly. Unfortunately, Dominus does take control of the Boneyard yet again, unfortunately for that. Ribbon had too. ganked earlier. Hmm. And, and uh, she did kill on Ari. This is unfortunate. I mean, there's so much control that's being brought in by Loli right now, and they've, they're doing pretty good for themselves right now.
Yes, um, the Singe being practically unkillable also makes ganking bot, which would traditionally be quite a good thing to do in this case, probably take too long to be truly effective. Well, especially with Insanity pushing only about, well, maybe 80 seconds? Yeah, 76 seconds right now on a CD. Um, yeah, nothing's really going to happen for that. We do see another engagement, Fat Mage being the pink that he is. Gets help, gets killed on the Pantheon, now the chase is going on. I'm going to pick up the Annie, and now b for all alone, can he pick up the kill onto that? Little Brigade is the one looking for that, but now we're going to see another zone out. Bandit Bill coming back in with that revive. Fancy Wolf now in a little bit of trouble. Gets the CC down. Is b going to be taken out from the Wind Slash? Actually, b I mean, yeah, we don't see the Ribbon actually on the Wind Slash anymore, but b going to be taken down. Oh, so close. Arm Weasel actually taking a lot of damage. Not focusing the Ezreal. Ezreal has been doing a lot of poke damage from behind. But unfortunately, Fancy Wolf picking up the kill onto the Mono. And now we do see Pilates Expert um, walk into a really, really dangerous trap, which is going to admit him to the death from Lily. So, again, another game going into uh, some explosion, plus a lovely right over here. Dominus, yeah, just did not have the comp, and well, unfortunately had that DC as well. Might have cost a lot of the time. Yes. I feel that, um, I feel that Dominus's comp could have worked quite a bit better. Um, Annie needed to be providing CC. Um, Ari probably just needed to farm up her item spot with a Rylai's Void Staff and um, Backfire Torch Singed would have had much more trouble with her. And I feel Mundo needed to be a harder initiation tank who could either initiate on the enemy rather than letting them be initiated on or lock down one of the high damage champions that were coming in. Yeah, I mean, there's just so much that they needed. Damage output was really ridiculously the big thing that of the whole thing, and I think everybody in chat could agree with that. The health aspect of well, as well for Mundo, probably a big thing. Unfortunately, only had the um, the spirit visage. Sorry about that. That brain fart right there. Uh, spirit visage for maybe a long time, but that was the only item that he had for health. Overall, yeah, just not a good thing from the team, and unfortunately, Dominus gonna be falling down. Explosion, or awesome explosion plus the lull that you're gonna be picking up round number two, and we're gonna be going to round number three. Am I expecting something from SIFU Calvin? I've just picked up an invite from Sifu Calvin. This so. is for Cheese Enema against Awesome Explosion plus Lolly. Would you like to watch something else, such as the um, Amputees versus winner of Game K, or Pays Evelyn Child Support versus Dominion Nation? I mean, it, it does not matter. We'll get to that in a second. I'm going to play a little bit of an adage. We'll be right back for Dominate Dominion number 45. Okay. Um, are we talking in private now? Uh, I mean, over commercial, yeah, for sure. Okay, um, yeah. Feedski said, let's watch this one. So okay. um, you have an invite from Sifu Calvin. Okay. Got it. <laughs> 